Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Mananel Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. Just want to do a reading for Scorpio. Scorpio, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Wow, okay. <laughs> Dear Lord. All right, Scorpio. Um, I've got you here in your feelings. I've got you here that you're um, very much, you know, really, really thinking about a connection that you might be in. Um, I feel that you feel that there is secrets going on around you and you're feeling stuck in this connection. You feel that somebody is repeating a cycle. You feel that somebody is possibly starting to distance themselves from you and possibly meeting up with other people, okay? Um, I do feel, Scorpio, here that either you might be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces or a Virgo or a, or a water sign like you. Um, but I feel your partnership... Just give me one sec. I don't want to jump the gun here. This person is keeping a secret from you regarding an air sign, a connection they have with an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, okay? All right. And I'll be honest with you, Scorpio, you're what makes them happy. All right, we're going to get some truth and clarity, which is good. We've got you focused on home stability and finances. Sorry about the glare. We also got you mentally tied and trapped. And this is not you. This is the other person that's mentally tied and trapped. Okay. But, all right. This person is connected to somebody else, Scorpio. They are making plans to leave this situation. Um, they're feeling hurt. They're trying to come out of this hurtful situation to have a new beginning. I'm going to start this reading again. It's a little bit all over the place, okay? Take, take what I just said, but I'm feeling the storyline's changing here. All right, so Scorpio, I see you're in your feelings. I see that you're worried about um, a repeated pattern, somebody repeating something with you because you feel like that there's secrets and these secrets are feeling, making you feel stuck and may, maybe you're making plans or this other person is making plans to go towards a wish fulfillment. And you feel like this situation is possibly going on for too long, okay? And I do feel that... Um, you know, whoever this person is, is is actually in a connection, could be in a connection with somebody else, could be a third party, could be just that they just like to mix and mingle with every Tom, Dick and Harry that, that comes across their life because they're flamboyant or they're, um, you know, just like to meet new people, all right? All right, I, and I, I kind of feel, Scorpio, that um, you're in a position where you don't want to chase this person anymore. You want this person to come to you, okay? You would like this passionate new beginning, but I feel like this connection does hurt you from time to time because whenever they make plans, they're always making plans with somebody else, okay? And I feel like whatever they're, they're offering you, Scorpio, does bring healing to a situation and does bring you your wish fulfillment, but then it creates a lot of mental conflict. Sorry about the glare. Okay. So judgment, Scorpio, is here. And judgment is you. And you're going to have to make a decision, Scorpio. Like, I feel like it's your decision whether you still want to put in the hard work and effort. Because if you do, you will be successful. But it's going to give you sleepless nights. It's going to give you a headache to constantly having to shift that energy to, you know, be patient, you know. Is, is really, really, you know, a struggle for you, all right? 
But I see if you decide to um, take a leap of faith and go in a different direction, that this person would just come in and apologize to you about their sneaky behavior, okay? And I do feel that you are dealing with somebody that you have a lot of memories with, somebody that, you know, um, has choices. And I feel like you're not sticking around, Scorpio. I feel like you're going to make your own choice and you're going to walk away. And um, as I always say, when you walk away from the Eight of Cups, you can only go forward, okay? I feel like you're going to open up your options, Scorpio, and you're going to... Oh, sorry. Because it's creating a lot of confusion for you. Um, I feel like you're going to end this cycle, Scorpio. You're going to... Now, you're going to find out that this person is giving, you know, more to one person than the other and that they're lying to you and their stinky behavior. And either way, your gut is feeling it, Scorpio. Don't ever deny your gut, okay? I feel like this person may be at a crossroad. They may be struggling to make a choice between two people. But I feel like that you're just going to take a leap of faith and not be stuck in this energy, you know, and somebody's coming in, Scorpio, somebody that um, when you walk away, somebody is going to come in with an offer and, and the truth, okay? Um, but I feel like you want this brand new beginning and you're not going to allow this person, you know, <laughs> God, that's weird. You're not going to allow this person to control this situation anymore. Yeah. No, no, because I, I feel, Scorpio, that if you're in a third-party situation, I feel like that it has been going on for a long period of time and you've been very lucky that you haven't been found out. And I think you just want to keep that luck. You want to keep your name clean and you want to just move away from it now, okay? Um, I feel like um, this person is going to end something in the new year. And I feel like they do come back into your life as the wounded warrior um, because they, they saw a lot of success and growth with you, but they were stuck. They were stuck somewhere. And, you know, don't allow other people's lives. If they're stuck, Scorpio, you don't sit and be stuck with them. If they, if they feel that they're going to lose you, then they might do something about, you know, where they are. But if they're having their cake and eat it, eating it too, Scorpio, they're not, they're not going to do anything about it. And this person could have other options that they're seeking. But the truth is, Scorpio, is that they, they will never find anybody like you. Okay? So there is a cycle that is come, coming to the end. And I do feel it's the end of toxic behavior. This person really thinks about you. Really thinks about you. Okay? And not only thinks about you, thinks about the connection that they're in, how toxic it really is, okay? But to the world, they portray everything to be beautiful. They know that you're the soulmate. They know that you're the twin flame. They know that, but they, they're hanging on to this heavy burden. And, you know, you're walking away, Scorpio, okay? You're walking away from this connection. And when you walk away from this connection, this other person will walk away from their connection, okay? Because it's going to end in heartache anyway. And I do feel there is an opportunity for you, Scorpio, to open up this door to a passionate new beginning, okay? Um, they're watching you, Scorpio, and they're going to watch you walk. They're watching you walk. They're not stopping you. Because they know they're placing a heavy burden on, on you. Regardless of how, what they feel for you, Scorpio, um this this person um is looking for freedom this person is going to leave a connection um and you're going to leave this connection also do you come back together scorpio um i feel like you're going to be focused on your home your stability your finances for a while especially in the new year you might travel this person might travel also. See, I feel like that you are the twin flame to this person because I feel like you mirror each other. Your life has been similar. The paths have been similar. Um, you've gone on similar journeys. You, you know, but this person is making a head over heart decision regarding being single. Okay. Um, they may be going towards a, a Taurus Capricorn or a Virgo. Um, and giving them an opportunity, but that's that's not going to happen. There you go. <laughs> it's not going to happen. 
Okay, there's a tell moment. There's a tell moment that's coming in. And I see you moving on to calmer waters. You're just going, you know. Let the tower fall. There's a legal situation. You know, let the tower fall, Scorpio, because no matter who they choose after you, nothing is going to work out. Because the universe pretty much knows that this is your partner. And, yeah, they're allowing the journey to happen. But the universe, when it sees, hang on, hang on a minute. Where are you going? Get back on this path. They'll just go bang, like slap you silly and put you back on the path again. Okay? So, you know, I feel, Scorpio, you got a new love that is coming into your life. And you are going to be single. And this love is going to be very, very balanced. Okay? And whether it's this past person or whether, you know, or current person or a new person, I see you moving forward. I see you moving forward. And I see you moving, I see you moving to a new home and moving forward and you've got somebody that's going to give you equal give and take and, you know, you've got all the tools to do this, Scorpio. Don't, don't allow anybody to tell you that you can't do anything. If anybody can do something, it's going to be a Scorpio. If anybody can rise like the Phoenix, it is a Scorpio. So, Scorpio, sometimes we have to, as a Scorpio, kind of hit rock bottom. But once, you, once you're there, Scorpio, there's nowhere else for you to go but to come up. And when you come up, people need to get out of your way because it's you're not unstoppable. You know, that's the song I get, unstoppable. Because I see you moving forward. I see you working on your finances, your stability. I see you, you know, giving, having this equal give and take, especially to yourself because you haven't given this equal give and take to yourself. But you're going to have all the tools to be able to do this, Scorpio. And you've got somebody rushing in. You've got somebody rushing in before you decide to take this new direction. And they want to reveal their feelings to you. Okay? You're leaving this person left out in the cold because of their secrets. And when they come in to communicate with you, Scorpio, they want to give you everything. You know, they want to give you the commitment. They want the victory with you. They want the happiness with you. Okay? This person is going to do everything to message you, stop you, carry on, even travel to where you are. And, you know, you may block this person. You may have turned their back, your back because you don't want to be trapped anymore, Scorpio. Um, you're not going to be trapped to other people's issues, other people's problems that keep you where you are. You've got a lot of opportunities that is coming your way, especially in your finances. Like, Scorpio... I'm going to tell you now, if you clear this up, you know, within the first three months, you know, let's give you time because that's what you need. If you can clear this up at least by March next year, you're going to open doors. You're going to open doors, not only in your finances, but in your love life, but making the change within yourself, within your mind, within everything. You know, you're going to, you're just going to feel this sense of freedom that... I don't want to be tied to anybody. I'm just going to do me, you know. Let's go travel. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. I want to have coffee with my friend today. I want to go meet this guy or that girl, you know. I don't see you wanting to be tied down, okay. But there is somebody specific that is coming into your life. Somebody who wants to give you everything, Scorpio. Somebody who wants a high level of commitment, somebody that wants to have a victory with you and somebody who wants to give you your ten of cups, something that you deserve, Scorpio. So I have this very, very, very strong sense for you, Scorpio, that 2024 may be one of the best years that you'll never forget. And I think you should manifest that and I think you should claim that and I really think, Scorpio, that... Do not allow anybody to keep you mentally tied and trapped to their bullshit. Turn your back. Your ships are coming in. You need to block whoever you need to block and just keep moving forward, okay? All right, Scorpio, I wish you all the best and we'll see you next time. And thank you, everybody, who has liked, shared and subscribed to the channel. And thank you for your support throughout the year. Love you all, Scorpio. See you next time. Bye for now.